In this video we're taking a bus journey with the fans of San Lorenzo to experience how many fans in Argentina travel to games. Drinks, music and the excitement of being on the way to watch your beloved team. Alentamos, alentamos el equipo aunque todavía falte para el partido. Es una fiesta que dura 5 horas mínimo. You can't get much more of an authentic Argentinian footballing experience than this. So join me in this video as we jump on board with the fans to get a rare look at how locals enjoy a day of football here. You don't want to miss this one. So before the journey begins, a quick brief. In Argentina, the term micro is used to describe a bus. But in a footballing context, the term micro can also refer to a group of fans who travel together to the game in one of these buses, which can usually be hired out quite cheap in the country. And we'll be joining a fan group in this journey called La Peña Jose C. Paz, who can explain this better. ¿Qué es un micro, amigo? ¿Qué decís vos? Es un micro, eh, es una agrupación familiar, la cual todos estamos por el mismo amor, la misma pasión, y vamos a, a acompañar a nuestro club, a San Lorenzo de Almagro. ¿Y qué, qué hacen en los micros? Y... Alentamos, alentamos el equipo, aunque todavía falte para el partido. Ya nos preparamos días antes, con el tema de la percusión, eh, las trompetas. Eh, ya estamos preparadísimos y disfrutamos, disfrutamos al máximo. Es como una fiesta, ¿no? Es una fiesta, es una fiesta. Desde que salimos hasta acá, hasta que llegamos a la cancha y cuando volvemos también. Es una fiesta que dura cinco horas mínimo. So there isn't much more to do other than get on the bus and get to the game. So as we get underway of a big swig of Fernie here, a big shout out to Pancho here who made this all possible. He got in contact with me on Instagram, said you have to come on the micro with us and here we are. So thanks to you. So at this point the bus randomly stopped and we found out there was a problem. So okay, it's a problem. see the bus in the background it did break down so we're here <laughs> just in the middle of nowhere but you know we'll still get there we'll uh, figure out a way so now another one has arrived um, hopefully they can help
Oh yeah, it was too loud to say it on the bus here, but you can see just how crushed my knees were. It's not the space for a tall man, but we survived. <laughs>
so what a day that was and it's been a while since this video was actually shot but i thought that i couldn't end it without talking about my experience of the day i'm not in argentina anymore i thought i'd wear this just to be neutral keep the argentina vibe going and not wear anyone's shirts but honestly what a day but you may have seen that the game footage wasn't actually that interesting <laughs> that's because the game itself was terrible it was oh it was a nil nil draw it was one of those ones that after 40 minutes you were like i know where this is going this is nil nil this is going to be boring if you were to ask me now how was the san lorenzo independiente game you went to i'd be like can't remember even one thing about it other than the fans so so yeah but for me this video most sums up football the way this happened is because we had such an amazing time before the match having such an amazing time having fun the build up all that excitement hoping for an exciting game hoping for that exciting game to build the atmosphere and the ground and uh and then nil nil <laughs> but for me football is more than just the result it's days like these it's the it's the five hours before the match it's waking up before the match it's going to meet your mates before the match it's, it's you know going for how and what mode of transport you're going to the match and it was so interesting to see that you know this this is shared in argentina this this excitement for you know before the match of course they express it in different ways i'm not saying that it's better or worse i'm saying it's different to what i'm used to and it was so interesting to see and you know football for me is all about community it's something that the sport is built on and the culture around it is built on and that community atmosphere is something that allows me someone from ireland to be halfway across the world from home with san lorenzo fans and join in and be invited by them to travel to the game to watch the game with them to experience how they enjoy a day of football watching their beloved team and to me that's that's amazing that like i mean what other walks of life can you do that in and it was such an amazing experience to have so once again thank you so much to everyone from the Peña for inviting me down for being so friendly with me for being so welcoming you know at the first you know there was some people who obviously didn't know the the plan and stuff for the day so they were like why is this you know tall irish guy just uh in the middle of nowhere in buenos aires about to go to san lorenzo match but after that there was no problem you know i want to you know shout out to i didn't catch the the, the man's name but he was even shouting el irlandes irlandes you know like the irish one and you know that's what it is like everyone just brought me in treating me treated me like i was part of the community and honestly thanks so much for that guys and you know that when it comes to that in argentina that just shows what football is in the country and you know i only saw a brief i was there for two months i only saw a brief part of this but this is happening in all over the country where fans are going on these micro buses they're they're putting their money in that they're hard-earned money in to go and share this experience to come together to forget about everything else in the world for those you know six hours like we were talking about in the interview at the start of the video and they they're doing that all over the country and expressing their love for their clubs you know it could be san lorenzo it could be independiente it could be rathen it could be you know baca river it doesn't matter that this happens all over the country and that's something that's even within all the rivalries you know that's one thing that's shared that everyone in their group who support their team will get together in some ways to enjoy the football together and that was amazing to see i've got to say as well that you know i have to once again highlight the ones in the peña that the fan group that is that i wasn't annoyed at all that the bus broke down so you know obviously the hospitality they were giving me that after the game i'd never planned i don't think that was communicated but i'd never planned to to go back with them because where i was staying in Argent, uh, in buenos aires wasn't near there so I'd always planned to go after the game just back to where I was staying. But it was interesting because I got a text being like, you know, can you can you maybe just send them a voice message just to make sure that, you know, you you weren't annoyed. They all think that you were really disappointed that the bus broke down and ruined the experience. But no, not not at all. It was complete opposite. Like for me, like I was saying before, like that period before the match is almost better than the match for me. It's what I enjoy the most and 
to be able now to say that I was just stood in the middle of nowhere at the side of the motorway after a bus of San Lorenzo fans that I was in broke down going to a match. I mean, if I if you told me that like six months ago, I would have been like, nah, man, like that's that's not something that'll ever happen. That because you know it's it was obviously a worry at the time that we were gonna miss the game. There was probably like five minutes where I was like, oh, this is actually a possibility, but. As soon as you know we got there, it was fine. We watched the game. Terrible nil nil draw, you know, like I was saying. But yeah, for me, honestly, there was not an issue. It was part of the adventure, and it's one that when my mates talk to me about the adventures I had in Argentina, that's going to be one of the top ones. And that I wouldn't put that anyone off in Argentina getting one of those buses because you know how many work on a weekly basis, and there was one broke down. Not a problem at all. So. That's my little analysis of the day there. And if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, make sure to subscribe to the Partido, where we'll be making a lot more content on the Spanish-speaking football and world in English. And of course, you might think, okay, you're not in Argentina anymore. How many videos will be coming out? Well, I've shot over 15 videos from my time there. And I'll be editing them like a madman, I have to say, over the next month, few months and I'll be releasing them continuously. And then after that, we'll be still having more content from Spain, we'll be having more content from Argentina, more in-depth and in focus videos that I can, when I don't have the chance to go to games now, I can develop ideas. So what I wanna say there is basically, there's so much more content to come. So subscribe if you want to see that. And as always, nos vemos in the next video.